Hey everybody, Ben here from the Bonehead Podcast and welcome to Tournament Talk. We are looking at potential tournament rosters for all of the teams that have been spoiled in the Blood Bowl 2020 rulebook. Hopefully, we'll get tournaments back next year and if we do, what we're putting together is just a few of what we think are the best tournaments, uh, tournament lists. All the best um, kind of things to expect when you go to a tournament. So if you're going to be playing a Black Orc team, the kind of list you can expect to face. Because every single Blood Bowl tournament in the world ever is basically different, uh, what we're looking at is we're looking at 1100 TV and 1200 TV. So that's 1.1 million and 1.2 million rosters to kind of see what you can fit in there. And we're going to touch on some of the key skills rather than say, right, you get four skills. You Basically, because every skill package is different, we want to say these are the primary skills. If you get some of these skills, you can go for this. The idea is just to give you a taste of what these rosters are going to be like next year, hopefully, in the new season of Blood Bowl, when we can all go back to playing tournaments. And we're going to be looking at our Black Orc tournament rosters. So let's start with 1100. So Black Orcs do really well. At 1100, they get almost everything you want. They're 5k short of being a clean sweep, basically, of what you want. So the stack line build comes in at 1060, which means you get 40k to spend however you want. I recommend assistant coaches because roll of seven uh, now brings them basically get on the kickoff table seven is assistant coaches and six is cheerleaders so seven's going to come up slightly more often anyway one troll six black orcs so that's seven players with strength four or more that you can just deploy on the line backing that up you've got five goblins and three re-rolls so from playing this team those black orcs with brawler are remarkably consistent and the goblins uh you know goblins are great three plus dodge stunty yeah, they can do things. What that means is, realistically, you kind of get to save your rerolls for ball handling stuff. So the goblins actually perform just fine because your big guys are making two to three die blocks. And with that brawler, it does get them out of dodge ever so slightly. So skills-wise here, if you want to take the troll, because you might as well, strength five, you got a guard. Basically, I see trolls and black orcs taking guard across the board. They already come with kind of like half block. So it's, it's it's up to you. If you want to go for mega consistency, put block on whoever you can. If you want to go for control and dominance, go for, uh, go for guard. And if you want to end players, go mighty blow. One thing I found from playing Black Orcs is that every time I knock somebody down, I just want mighty blow. I can knock them down just fine because I'm getting two dice and I've got brawler to give me another shot at that pow. Uh, but it's when I take them down, I really want mighty blow. Don't normally recommend Mighty Blow in a tournament situation, but a bit of removal could be really useful. Goblins, though, you may be thinking, sure hands or something like that. One skill I definitely think you, can, you should think about is Break Tackle, because it got different. It got different. It is a double still, but um, this will mean that your Goblin is dodging around on a 2-plus everywhere, because players with Strength 4 or less get plus 1 to dodge rolls, basically get plus 1 agility when dodging. So that goes from a 3-plus to a 2-plus infinitely again meaning you can save your re-rolls um for just things that go wrong and your ball handling stuff i think at 1100 that black orc is that black orc's roster is gonna be an absolute powerhouse the downside of the black orc roster is that there's nothing else to add at 1100 you've got the one troll and you've got all six black orcs so the only thing you can really do is add more goblins so the kitchen sink you chuck everything in one troll six black orcs seven goblins so that gives you 13 that gives you a bench of two plus three re-rolls and you can still take that apothecary to keep your team on the pitch now there is a bit of juggling around where you can move things around and take a full three roll if you want but these guys are rocking up at tier two so you should get some skills so I can see this just it's just maximum consistency for your team if anyone does get taken out I lost a black orc in my last game with them um, it was fine I still had five others but you know having that apothecary to keep him on would have been lovely seven goblins means you've got them in reserve actually that's 14 players so 14 players and an apothecary is a ton now the reason you're kind of stuck between 1100 and 1200 is there's no cheap stars there's no key stars for um the badlands uh, with the badlands keyword that really make your your team 
chug along there's there's kind of only two stars i recommend putting in with black orcs at the moment let's have a look at the first one and it's helmet wolf we looked at the 1060 roster and it had everything you could want three rerolls a troll six black orcs five goblins and now you can slip in Helmet Wolf for exactly 1200. So Helmet Wolf is not going to unlock your team. It's not going to make your team perform any better. What it is going to do is it's going to massively make uh, the most of all those knockdowns you're going to get. You've got the Troll. You've got six Black Orcs. Those guys are strength four. The Troll is strength five. If you do go the guard route, you're going to be pounding people into the ground. Helmer Wolf is going to be able to just mosey along at the end of every single one of your turns and chainsaw foul somebody. This team could go from dominant to deadly with Helmer Wolf, and I think that's really cool. Um, I, it doesn't bring anything to the, the bowl aspect of Blood Bowl, but it really brings the blood. Here we go. So we do have a roster that does change up the way Black Orcs play, and I think gives them a significant boost at 1200. So this is the Grack Orcs at 1200. This is Grack and Crumbleberry, and the reason this combo is so good is because you get two players for 250k, which is expensive. One of those players comes with Ash 3 Plus and Sure Hands. So you come, it comes with an integral bull carrier, plus you kind of upgrade the troll to an ogre. Better movement, better negatrate. Yes, it's got loner, but the loner is exactly the same. So for 250k, you drop the troll. So what does that mean? That means for 135k, you boost the troll into an ogre. And you get a halfling with sure hands to come along with it. Which I'll admit, uh, the idea of having a halfling is not uh, not like, oh my goodness, this is amazing. However, this dude's three plus edge edge and has sure hands. I, <laughs> when you look at the rest of the Black Orc roster, that's not bad. Like goblins are great, but having that integral um, sure hands, and you don't only have to really deploy him if you want to, uh, if you if you're receiving, you can leave him off. You can leave him off. Like it's fine. You can stick with the goblins, who, to be fair, with um, thick skull, are way, way more hardy than you'd imagine. So this roster, Grack and Crumbleberry, six black orcs, five goblins, and three rerolls, gives you what? Thirteen players. Six of them are stunty. Six of them are black orcs. One of them is an ogre. This roster is just better. It's just better than uh, the kitchen sink one. You lose an apothecary and two goblins. And you get an ogre instead of the troll, and they just spot you a halfling that <laughs> comes with sure hands. It's absolutely brilliant. I think what we'll see is most black orc coaches just taking the troll, just being honest black orc teams. But I do see these guys unlocking many teams at many TV, and you can squeeze them in at 1200 quite easily, as we can see. And you can squeeze them in at 1100 as well, but it is, as you can tell from the graphic here dangerous so grack orcs 1100 comes in at 1090 you get grack and crumbleberry five black orcs and six goblins with just two re-rolls so really tough situation here you can do it you can get an ogre and a halfling with sure hands in at 1100 you have to lose a black orc and a re-roll it's a massive investment here but it could be really fun um I, I, I think it's great. I do like the ogre over the troll, but I don't know if uh, it's better than a troll and a black orc. Um, trolls have been performing pretty well recently. I nearly suffered a troll touchdown in my last game. In fact, with black orcs. Not good. <laughs> Not good. It took a load of scrambling to basically save that one. Um, you can run Grack and Grumbleberry in 1100. You can squeak them in there, and I think it will be a really fun build. Uh, Grack's ability to kick stuff. <laughs> it could be great fun uh, when you've got a, a reasonable supply of stunty players. Um, Skills-wise, again, Grack is going to be doing his own thing, so Guard will just enable everybody else. Guard will also help protect your goblins. So that's one of the big pickups we found um, from playing Black Orcs, is that uh, Block is consistent for your Black Orcs. Mighty Blow will help you destroy things more, and Guard will help keep your Black Orcs up, and it will help them shield the goblins, because it's very hard with movement four guys to protect the ball carrier, or at least to protect them from actually getting a blitz on them. Having Guard on a couple of players will mean that that blitz goes from two dice maybe to one dice, or maybe even negative, which will massively help you from, uh, from losing your game. So, 
Black Orcs at tournaments are just going to be an absolute powerhouse. And I think those players who are good with guard and positioning, yes, I'm looking at you Dwarf players, um, are going to do really well with them. They're very powerful. They, they are not explosive, okay? You've got goblins, and goblins are great, and that's why I kind of think you should consider break tackle, because being able to stunty dodge on a 2+, plus wherever you want to go, um, it, it's going to make the most of that movement 6. With Grack, for example, with the troll, um, you've got the throw teammate angle as well, which could be really, really fun. We I didn't go that route with, with my Blackhawk team. Um, because I wanted to see how the Blackhawks played. I know I know how bad throw teammate is. You guys have seen the YouTube games. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I think this is going to be a very, very good tournament team. Let's just flick over to the stat line at 1100. It is a real shame they don't have any medium um, star players. I mean, they've got nothing. <laughs> the, uh, the Black Goblin is quite cool, but it's 220k and it doesn't enable the team at all. It's just a cool thing to add on that takes you over that 1200 limit helmet wolf slits in slots in there really nice because it's just an extra thing to add to your team this team's maxed out on positionals now at 1060 you've got three rerolls i really don't think you're likely to need more um in a tournament or you know you've, you've got skills the skills are going to make your team more consistent whether it's guard mighty blow whatever actually another thing brawler on the troll not a bad skill at all it's a strength as well so if you want to chuck a double on a troll you can go for block if you want to go for a single you can go for brawler and I love Brawler. It's been doing some really great work with the Blackhawks. And quite frankly, having Strength 5 Brawler, my entire seven-man front line is all going to have Brawler, which is going to save so many rerolls. And you don't have to use um, Loner to make it work for the Troll. So I think Brawler on the Troll going to be a bit of a game changer. Anyway, I'm going to stop rambling about Blackhawks, even though it's only two or uh, three weeks away before... Um, hopefully we get our hands on the team and we can start playing some games um, with the actual models instead of my kind of ogre hybrid team. Anyway, thanks very much for watching. Let me know in the comments what you think of these rosters, what you think of Black Orcs, and what team you want us to do next. Otherwise, we will see you tomorrow. <laughs>